welcome to Once More With Feeling, review request time. Once again I was hit up by Josh Ratcliffe of Chaos Over Cosmos to cover their upcoming EP, very simply titled Two. Building upon the work presented in their previous self-titled EP, Two takes the two genres of metalcore and prog rock and even more expertly intertwines them, whilst also drawing upon other genres to better round out the sound. There is a key aspect running through the entire EP that I will already touch upon, which is how the vocals are presented, creating this really cool conversation between harsh and clean vocals, and presenting this whole idea of striving forth no matter the odds, and even if they're presented with something that seems insurmountable, um, picking themselves up even after they fall. So to begin with, we have We Will Not Ellipses. That opens with this cool windswept effect underlying sort of fantasy-esque style keys and gradually building into what feels like a warrior's last stand kind of scene. You, you can almost imagine it being used for that sort of scene in a movie. You've got insurmountable forces surrounding the hero and he's figuring out how he can possibly win even if it seems impossible. The guitars especially have that really good build that hits that sweet spot, that paints that picture of a pitched battle, and you really can imagine, like, as every strum gets more and more intense, the fighting is becoming more desperate, and yet a light at the end can be seen. There are certainly cues that have been taken from black metal in terms of production quality, but that feels much more of an added effect instead of what can often detract from songs. I, I really like how it's got that sort of grainy quality at times. Uh, there also feels like influences have been drawn from Paradise Lost, which is specifically more recent Paradise Lost and how they've been able to really evolve their sound. It definitely feels like that evolution has granted influence here. I can really appreciate what's gone on there. I will say one detractor is that at times the drums can come in a bit too full force, but as it progresses they level out quite nicely and it all evens out with the rest of the track. It, and ultimately it's, it's a very strong opener. Following on from there, we've got Worlds Apart. This is one of the more definitively metalcore tracks, but has some really nice sort of space agey affectations going on. It very much feels like they're painting this picture of sort of distant planets and really designing something sort of science fiction y. And it's also got these overlays of staccato guitar play that really that builds and alternates and 
really gives a nice, cool feel to it. The thing that really hooked me about this track is how the bass and guitars are still very chunky and weighty whilst you've got this cool sort of sci-fi affectation going on. It definitely feels like they're doing a full meeting of the minds and drawing a bit more on synth pop type. Well, not synth pop, but synth styles and dark wave and everything like that um, the interaction between the technical mastery going on and that very aggressive weight made it something very cool to listen to and it just it made something that could have just been a very simple track into something something very interesting to listen to. After that we've got 100. This is absolutely exquisite. It takes so many different styles and genres and melds them into something amazing to behold. So you open with a sort of very dark wave synth pop. It sounds kind of Depeche Mode influenced and flowing from there it goes into sort of prog rock with goth act affectations and you've got a sort of black metal style whisper swirling around the singer and it feels like it's trying to influence their thoughts but is being overwhelmed by the sheer force of will and the numbers of people supporting them. It also has the feel of a song being told in chapters like each change in style is marking the progression of the story. As it goes through this, it's building and building, it's going through even power metal chords and things like that, and ultimately it brings it all together. There's always the band's own unique style informing on the progression, and it's an absolute treat for any audiophile to go, oh, I, I quite like how this is going. I, I can see, I can see what the different takes are going on here. The one complaint I have is, I would say that if it was to be re-recorded, it might be an idea to extend the transition at the 3 minute 40 mark, because it feels a bit too quick in change from styles. But that is sort of like, it feels like it should be just a few seconds longer and then it would really hit that mark. But otherwise, it's very intriguing to just see how the band has experimented with the different sounds that they can create. Lastly, we have Ellipses Fall. Now that 
changes up the style quite dramatically, going for a more folk metal style initially, and then breaking into face-melting power metal chords. And it really utilises sort of the lay motifs presented in uh, We Will Not, and runs with those into a more elaborate soundscape. Uh, you, you also feel sort of as it's a gradual progression through folk metal to power metal into battle metal, and it, you really you round out with the refrains vocally from "We Will Not." It's definitely a very strong way to end the EP, and makes it. It really leaves you wanting more and excited for what's to come next. Two categorically displays Chaos over Cosmos' staying power and their knack for blending styles and evolving their sound whilst maintaining one that is uniquely theirs. And it really makes me incredibly excited to hear what they've got to come next. 2 gets a 4.5 out of 5. You've got a really good thing going here and I'm excited for what's in store next. That's it for this episode, next one will be the next quarantine episode, which will be... Sirius Black's Mirror World. See you then! <laughs>